we were watching All in the Family, and we were watching reruns of that in this in the you know late '80s and early '90s, and going, what happened to this kind of TV? What what happened? Right. Like, why can there not be an Archie Bunker anymore? And and then we realized, you know what we need is an Archie Bunker that's an eight-year-old child. South Park somewhat is defined by the limits, you know, like we're almost, we're, our show and like the humor is almost defined by the limits of what you can do or can't do on TV. And we're always kind of bumping up against that. So if that moves and if it goes outward or inward, we're always trying to have fun with that border. I appreciate Matt's arguments. I think that sometimes he sways me off and, you know, when I walk in and go, no, no, Matt, we really can't do this. We've got to figure out a better way. And, and he will have really sound arguments that, to me, help me build a defense for doing something that I will say, all right, that's fine. I can stand behind that. Let's do it then. No, and it, it's kind of like one of those things that, you know, with, with dealing with Renee, dealing with standards and the network, is when the network says, no, we don't want to do that, and we say, well, who's going to get mad? Who's going to, and they go, well, these people are like, okay, well, then we finally convince them to let us do that, and they don't get one phone call. Yeah. Mr. Slade, put this rubber ball in your mouth. Take that, <laughs> Slade, you take it. <laughs> okay, well, that's funny. Now, how do we justify him being there? And then it became the whole show where, okay, well, what if the whole idea of the show is that Garrison brings this guy in, and that the town's uncomfortable with that. And we're like, okay, no, 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 that's too easy. That the town's uncomfortable with a gay guy. How about they're super comfortable with him? And they're so comfortable with him because of all the new laws and, you know, and, and acceptance rules that, that it goes too far. Say, Mr. Slay. Yes, Mr. Garrison? I had a dream last night that you were a real dick. Really? Why would you dream that I was being an asshole? No, no, no. I, was I was the, the asshole. asshole. Oh, that is so courageous. What an amazing human being. I... Courageous. So courageous. God damn it, don't you people get it? I'm trying to get fired here. And like the end of that show is Mr. Garrison going, you tolerate a bad cold. You tolerate a bad rash. It doesn't mean you like it. You <laughs> yeah, know what I mean? There's tolerate. everything toler it's tolerance. tolerating. It's not called acceptance. Yeah. yeah. The best thing that ever happened to us is political correctness. Yeah. You know, without that, we'd be doomed because that's what we're fighting against. You know, it's like it's like the yin and yang. Like I don't, you know. No, and half the laughs that we get are, you know, people going, "I can't believe they just did that on TV. That must have pissed this group off so much, and that must have pissed the Christians off so much." And you know, that's what you're laughing at. It's just like, oh my God, you know. And if it weren't, if everything was okay, then what, you know, nothing would be funny. <laughs>